Hi everyone. A mode may be defined as a set of notes produced by beginning a scale on any of its degrees other than the tonic. Also, modes are characterised by a certain final or ending pitch and a particular arrangement of tones and semitones. A mode's sound then is dependent on two related factors. The first is its intervallic structure, specifically the positions of the semitones and tones or major and minor seconds and any other characteristic interval. And the second is its orientation to a particular beginning note and or chord. In theory, therefore, except for symmetrical scales which produce the same series of intervals regardless from which scale degree they begin, all scales contain modes. In this video I'll focus mainly on modes of the major scale, as they are typically the easiest to learn and the related theory is then easily transferable to modes of any non-symmetrical scale. Most scales are constructed predominantly of a series of tones and semitones, although in some scales other intervals may also be present, such as the augmented second characteristic of the harmonic minor scale. As mentioned previously, it's the order of the major and minor seconds and any other characteristic interval contained in a scale which gives it its sound. For example, all major scales are constructed of the following intervallic pattern, which is two semitones, one between the third and fourth notes, and the other between the seventh and tonic. The modal name for the major scale is the Ionian mode, which is the original name for the scale type beginning from its first degree. Because all major scales contain the same intervallic pattern, all major scales have the same major sound, regardless of which note is the tonic. Using this intervallic pattern beginning from C, for example, will produce a C major scale. From D will produce D major and so on. If we play a C major scale unaccompanied but end on C, or play it over a C pedal or drone, the major sound is present. Also, if we play a C pedal over common functional tonal progressions in C major, such as 2-5-1, Four five one or six two five one. The major sound is reinforced by the harmony. In fact, if we play these progressions on their own, they are still oriented to C. When diatonic extensions are added to these chords also, the C major sound is still present. In other words, when a C pedal, C chord or functional progressions of C major are used to accompany the scale, the scale may begin and end on any of its notes, producing the C major sound. In all of these examples then, the notes of C major are oriented to the note C and the tonic triad of C major. As we'll see, depending on how each chord is treated in a tune, different modes may be suggested by the different chords of the progression or may be united by the parent scale. If we now sustain the note D, the second note of C major, and play over at the C major scale, a different sound is produced. Now, although we're playing the same notes of the C major scale, their orientation is shifted around the note D and the chord of D minor. This shift also means that the semitones now occur between the 2nd and 3rd and 6th and 7th notes. In other words, C no longer sounds like the tonic, which is shifted to D, producing the D Dorian mode. Because all major scales are constructed of the same intervallic pattern, the mode produced from their 2nd note is always Dorian. 
In D Dorian, the shift in orientation to D means that functional progressions of C major no longer sound resolved on C. For example, if you play the earlier 2-5-1 progression over a repeated D in the bass, the C chord now sounds unresolved. as the progression wants to resolve on D minor. Modal music uses its own progressions which typically feature chords containing the characteristic note or notes of the mode. Progressions using the Dorian mode, for example, will often include chords on the mode's second and fourth degrees, as these chords both contain Dorian's characteristic major sixth degree, which is the only differentiating feature between it and the natural minor scale, which includes a minor sixth interval. Modal progressions will also often be based around root movement by step. For example, the following progression, while unusual in functional tonal progressions, is possible when using modes. Here, despite no pedal or repeated D minor chord to orient the progression to D, these chords are still drawn to that note. This is partially due to the chord's root notes, which outline five notes of the D Dorian mode, and partially because the E minor and G major chords both contain the note B, the Dorian mode's characteristic note. Playing the notes of C major over its sustained third note, E, produces the E Phrygian mode, whose unique sound is characterized by minor seconds above its final and fifth degrees. As with Dorian, which when compared to the natural minor scale contains a major instead of minor 6th degree, the notes of the Phrygian mode are the same as the natural minor scale except for its second note, which is minor, while in the natural minor scale it's major. Phrygian progressions are typically based around chords on the modes 1st, 2nd and 7th degrees. Modes on the degrees of any non-symmetrical scale can be similarly derived. Major scales contain the following modes, three of which have a major chord final, three have minor, and one has a diminished chord. The ascending melodic minor or jazz minor scale contains the following modes, two of which have a major chord final, two have minor, two diminished, and one augmented and the harmonic minor scale contains the following modes, which like the jazz minor scale has two modes with a major chord final, two with minor, two with diminished, and one augmented. As mentioned earlier, when soloing, modes may be applied to individual chords of a progression, or the chords may be unified by a single parent scale or mode. 2-5-1 progressions, for example, may be unified by the scale of the tonic chord. Two minor chords with root notes a major second apart may also be unified by the major scale whose root note is a major second below the initial minor chord. Treating individual chords in a progression with different modes always depends on context and any chromatic alterations or extensions the chords may contain. For example, using Dorian modes over both chords in the previous example shifts between D and E Dorian, whose F-sharp and C-sharp accidentals can sound out of place if not treated with care. If, however, the minor chords are changed to minor sixth chords, the B in D Dorian and the C sharp of the E Dorian mode are already sounding, helping to unify both harmony and melody. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.